All right, guys. Um, Lord, that would be. I'm not gonna lie. Um, I was gonna post today. I probably, I don't know. I, I'm thinking about doing zombies again, but at the same time, I just been like feeling like. I don't, I, I, I feel like I'm kind of like, not that I'm losing it, but I've been like, I already watched so many shows and everything and just chilling at home and shit. And it just gets tiring at a point where it just feels like you don't know what you're doing anymore. This type of situation. And I'm not saying I'm giving up or anything because I'm not. I'm obviously have a big plan of all these subscribers that I have like I have all this support and all this stuff for you guys even though there's some people that are negative like that doesn't take over me it doesn't even affect me I'm, and that's not what that's not my excuse it's just like I don't know I don't know if, if you guys ever been there where you just been home too much and you know you're trying to do things like go outside and all that stuff and it just like you feel a certain way that's how I feel I feel like I'm bored and I feel like I'm just not doing shit but at the same time I have been doing stuff like trying to make videos um, when I'm just home go to the park for a couple hours and shit I don't know I just I want to be the way I was before, where I was like, damn, I didn't give a shit. I didn't give a shit on what was going on or what. And I'm not saying that's not a... It's a bad thing to be the way I am right now and, like, more feeling emotions and shit. But at the same time, I feel like... What the fuck happened to that person I was before where I was more like, I didn't give a shit. Like, I would just, I guess because these games are just so bad now, like, I can't get my mind into, like, the gaming zone anymore. Like, all these new games that are coming out from Call of Duty, it's just, it's just so bad. And I'm not saying it was bad, bad, but, like, in Season 1, Season 0 all the way to Season 3, it was fun. And then, like, season four came out and five, and they just messed up the whole aim assist. Like, default aim assist is just so nerfed. And I know they they don't say it in the patch notes, but secretly they nerfed it because it just feels like the default aiming is not as accurate as it is. And the Black Ops one is barely hanging on. Like, it's barely like, oh, yeah, you're going to snap on this person when you shoot them. So, I don't know. I, I just feel like I feel like I'm so over the game. Even though I want to be hyped for the new COD and all that. And that's why I didn't post anything yet. Because I'm very disappointed how... It, this could have just been a DLC for... And maybe charge like 30 bucks like they like to fucking do. But this is basically going to be the same. And I'm not saying it's bad because I don't know myself yet either until I see uh, people playing and stuff. I'm not going to start pre-ordering like a dumbass and just get it because, oh, it's a new COD and it's going to be better. Like, I'm going to watch people play this game and see if it's actually doing good because they're making it seem like it's good. But in real life, we don't know that yet until we play it. And even with beta, it's not the full results of the game. But everybody's overhyping it. Like, damn, this game's going to be back to 2009. And there's some like me that don't really agree that's going to be like 2009. Modern Warfare 2 and 3 or whatever the fuck. Just because they're showing OG 16 maps that they're going to put in the game already, which is good. I'm happy that they're going to put the airport map. Airport map back and some other maps that i know in modern for two just don't have a good um memory on names 
but it doesn't defeat that this game's gonna be trash. Just like the like we don't know yet. It's gonna be something different that Sledgehammer tries because, as we know from Sledgehammer, they do pretty bad in games. They did it bad in the World War Two game. It was okay, like the whole earning um, contract system, pretty cool, different. Guns were okay, but it wasn't the shit. It wasn't a game that was like, oh, I'm going to play this instead of Black Ops or Modern Warfare. Like, it's always been Modern Warfare or Black Ops. And Vanguard, they did pretty bad on it. I'm not saying it was horrible Vanguard, but like it was not the best. It was not bad. It was supposed to be better than World War Two, but World War Two made it look way better than Vanguard. So the fact that they messed up on that game is pretty bad. And I think I don't know if they helped Infinity War. I can't be right, but Infinity War was pretty bad. Um, a pretty bad game too. Other than the zombies being kind of weird but cool um yeah so i hope they don't disappoint on modern warfare because this is a modern warfare game now that they're actually handling their styles i don't think activision wants to be part of this because i'm pretty sure they're just tired of you know handling modern Warfare 2 itself and everybody bashing on them so i'm pretty sure they're not gonna continue this part with modern warfare 3 i thought they were because modern warfare is a big title of activision but literally the title says sledgehammer and treyarch why does it say treyarch too because treyarch decided to do the zombies this time and it sounds good but it doesn't sound good that it's gonna just be an open world i hope they do little maps too maybe some custom maps like They'll do the airport map as a zombie map, and like you have to buy like that would be. I think that would be pretty cool. It's weird, but having Model for Two thing, Model for Two maps and zombies on it, like if they would do that, I think that would be cool. Like a good classic experience of zombies again, just with the um, Model for Two maps and. The drinks being the black ops drinks as as we all know but yeah just i just wanted to keep in mind guys like i am trying to tr i'm trying really hard to post things but at the same time july and august did a big impact on me especially because what is going around me during um during such uh situations that are going on took a big impact because of that and i'm not sh i'm not showing it but i am kind of stressed out over that it does bother me that stuff like this happens i don't think i i deserve certain type of things like this but i'm not gonna i'm not gonna be saying exactly what is going on because it's like it's my business and i'm trying to take care of things and I'm not trying to make excuses either, but at the same time, it is taking a big impact. Um, I even tried, you know, little side jobs too for now. Because that's how bored I am with just being home. And I'm not saying YouTube sucks or anything, but like I said, these games are just lacking the fun that it was when I was just a kid. I remember playing the old call of duties and loving it staying up late as hell playing zombies not wanting to go to school because i wanted to play so bad and even when i went to school and i would talk to my friends about down can't wait to go home to play black ops 3 or black ops 4 or whatever the fuck whatever game it was that year but i can't even do that anymore there's no fun on this Call of Duty anymore. It's more it's more like Call of Shit, if you want to call it. Call of Shit because you play a game, you either run into hackers, middle of a game. Middle of a game is always the worst thing you could get. Or the map is always lagging. 
another bullshit on that. Or it's always they're always playing this shit map that you don't even want to play. And then you back out, right? And then it puts you back in that same map. I don't want to be playing the border map. I don't want to be playing that night map. And I don't want to be playing that other map that they remade from Modern Warfare 2 but made it crap. Yeah, they did a realistic river or whatever, but it's so loud that you could barely hear anybody. And when you lower it too, it defeats the purpose of hearing footsteps. So it's just like... At the end of the day, you're screwed because you have to hear the loud storms and all that. They shouldn't have just done the OG 2009 map that I know that they're trying to do. I don't know exactly what map it's called, but it's like in a... There's like a river and then there's this big uh, whole house thing and people love camping in it. It's another night map too. You don't have to use the goggle thing because I don't even think there's in it. But it's a it's a remake of the Modern Warfare for uh two thousand nine map, which is it's nice because it's nighttime. But at the same time, they did all this storming stuff just to ruin the map. They could have just done it nighttime, and that is it. But see, things like that frustrate me because I'm trying to play the game, and I run into those three things: hacking, shitty map. I mean, hacking, shitty map, or the middle of the game. Oh, wait, actually four things I'm wrong. And lagging. And I have really good connection because it's very rare when my internet turns off. And the internet's upstairs too, too. Like, you know, you, they say that it's actually true. The closer the Wi-Fi you are... The better the signals are. I get I get like 400 signal here. This internet box holds up to 600. I know I'm not getting the max. But I get at least like 400 with the wireless thing. And I'm not going to put an internet cord just to get that 600 on it. I, I would love to. But I don't want to be stapling things. And then ruining my whole wall and stuff. Like tripping over and stuff. And yeah. I could staple it too, but it's going to look ugly and stuff like that. But even doing that, I'm pretty sure I'm going to lag in Modern Warfare for God knowing what reason. But anyways, this whole video is about me trying to find a video idea. I know I did Zombies because I think Zombies was pretty good. I think you guys liked that. I might do that again, but... It's me, it's more like what's going on around my life and what to put in a video because, like I said, Call of Duty is just not hitting it like it used to be. If this Mono for 3 could do with what we really want, then I could do more videos and I'll be happy to play like the old style way, but it's really hard to believe seeing four games in the line be like eh like Mono for 2019 was okay it wasn't the best cold war the same thing and then vanguard just i don't know what the fuck happened there Mono for two is just becoming dog water too i hope it's good what they say because the things i am happy about this this new card coming is the mini maps coming back with the red dots Thank God, because we can't understand shit from this whole Modern Warfare map system. Like, yeah, you can see the compass, but it's still not accurate. It's just, like, another whole different thing. But, um, I forgot to switch the camera thing to the, because I have it in my front area where you guys could, uh, anyways... I hope it's good because yeah, um, the mini maps coming. They say um, slide canceling, reload canceling, all this stuff that they say. And I I don't know about gear stuff. Hopefully, it's the same thing as perks, and doesn't mess with the whole perk system that we know. Hopefully, this uh, gear stuff that. Because they're trying to switch it to make it more realistic. 
like silent boots and all that hopefully that makes the game good because if not it's just gonna be another shit call of duty like vanguard a whole f tier right there and like i said just watch out guys make sure you guys watch people play the game first before you buy this and waste your money and be like damn i was just stupid for paying this but yeah i'm still um like i said i'm gonna be trying again to see what i do what videos or what um hopefully september is a way better month and stuff because i don't know august and july were not for me it's fucking shithole and i'm still trying to be positive and all that stuff that's why i just keep i'm not keep it to myself but i'm trying to be positive and doing things like to keep my head up and all that but um like I said, Call of Duty is not doing it for me, and I hope I could. Play. I hope this Call of Duty comes out good. I don't know how long Modern Warfare has left from Part Two, but they already revealed the uh, Modern Warfare Three, and they made it so annoying too, where it's this uh, <clears throat> it's this whole pain wall in the front, and then you can play Modern Warfare Two. They do that on purpose so that you could get your hands in the game and try to buy it right away. And then they finally, like, when you buy the game, they don't rush it all in your face like that. But I'm not going to be stupid like that just to buy the game. And I'm not saying I did a stupid choice buying Mono for 2, but at the same time, I feel like I did because these last seasons were just trash. I wasn't a big fan of Season 4. And I'm not like I'm not really liking season five either because it feels like everybody's just being tryhards and it's lagging a lot for some weird reason. Um, but yeah, that's enough, guys. I hope you guys have a good night, good day, whatever time and day it is for you guys. Um, it's just a little info for me. Um. Like I said, I'm going to see what I do or what. And if it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't be doing this whole YouTube thing at all. Because, yeah, there's just a lot of stuff that tries to kick me. Try There's a lot of things that try to kick me and try to push me down. And I'm not going to go down easily. I can't be like that. I know I'm this strong person. I was like this before. And I know I could do it again. I just, I don't know. I think it's because, like I said, I'm lacking the whole entertainment thing. And I'm trying to find a way to get that entertainment back. But it's just, at the same time, I don't know. I really don't. But, yeah. Thank you guys for all the support. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for staying tuned. Um, if I do make a video, it's going to be live on Twitch. Make sure you guys are following that too. Because I have only like 48 followers, I believe. I need like... I'm trying to make it to 100. But if you guys can make it to 50, I'd greatly appreciate it. Just two more people to follow into. Because I'll have my channel too. I get more like features if I do that. I was looking at my Twitch. So I would like if you guys could follow up my channel make sure you guys subscribe we actually have 879 subscribers almost to 880 so yeah keep that up guys thank you guys and like i said if it wasn't for you guys i wouldn't be doing this stay tuned and have a good one peace